Karina Zona is a full-stack web developer, product manager, and consultant. In her free time, she engineers baked goods. She, of course, manages recipe iterations under Git version management. <laughs> She's going to tell us about some cool Git tricks. Hello. All right, so as you learned, I'm Karina, and I want to show you some really cool Git tricks that I learned when things went really badly. <laughs> to write detailed commit messages. You know, I want to be able to go through my log and pick out exactly what commit I'm looking for. I want to give every other developer working the project exact knowledge of what happened, right? Um, and then I write about the wrong change set. So I decided, you know, it's not my fault, right? I mean, at best, you, you do git commit, and then you're supposed to write a commit message, but you know, it's easy to forget what exactly was in staging, what did I just do, maybe I was away from the desk, whatever. You know, and if you do just regular git commit, you get a little bit of a prompt, it'll tell you what file is being committed, but I wanna know what. I wanna know what did I actually change. Turns out there's a little flag that helps you out with that. Now it'll add the diff. Um, you can get a nice long diff of all of the changes. Now I can be prompted, what the heck did I do? Let me summarize that. I also really have a thing about creating nice, long, descriptive, detailed branch names. Uh, this bites me so badly, because then I have to type it over and over again, and checking out is just horrible. Um, turns out, Git has a tool to help you with that, and they give it to you, and then don't enable it. This is so mean. Uh, you can find it in your git folder, not your dot git folder, which is your repository, but the actual folder where git itself lives. Um, so all you have to do here is copy it into some place that's accessible from your path, and then you're gonna source it so it's available to every one of your um, terminal sessions. All right, so now we can just do a tab and it will show all of your tags, all your branch names, all conveniently in one place. And then, just type enough to be unique, like in this case, a B and a tab, and voila, checked out, I didn't have to type that, I'm much happier. I use git status a tiny bit obsessively. You know, things don't happen the way I thought they would, so now I just check everything. Like every other operation is status, 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 status. It turns out this is another one where Git would love, you know, like, would love to save my day, but it doesn't enable this by default. So you gotta find that one too in your Git folder, it's great. All right, so you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did with the other one. Now we can create a custom prompt full of Git information. You can even make it pretty and colorful. You can do anything you want. Look, now it's telling me I'm in the middle of a merge, so I don't forget and start overriding it with all sorts of other stuff. And here's a rebase. Oh wow, okay, I have to continue with my rebase first before I start doing other crazy things. <laughs> oh, oh, look, and I have some trapped files that I haven't committed yet. Oh. And, and there's stuff in my stash that I would really like to unstash before I forget about it completely. Oh, and you know what? I've not pushed all of my commits lately to the upstream repository. All right, thank you. So I actually customized this stuff further because I want it to be a little more readable for me and also add some information. Like this is right now telling me that I've got three files that I haven't committed yet. And note also that I've put what repository I'm working in. So this is finding the name of the root folder that .git is in. Um, notice that that's not necessarily where I am. I'm in a lower level folder. So I've got information on where I am. And this is useful because oftentimes I have um, hierarchies of, of um, repositories. So it's not necessarily, sometimes I need to be prompted which repository am I actually in. Is it the top level or is it something lower down the stack? Um, it's also telling me what branch I'm on. All right, so now I'm gonna do some stuff, right? I add some stuff to staging, okay, but I still have three files because I haven't committed them, right? Now I commit them, yada yada, now I have nothing left, whew, okay. I think prompted on that. Now I make something new, back to one. Okay, so I'm constantly being nag, 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 actually commit stuff, which is how it should be, right? I've also learned to pathologically avoid git add dot. 
I had to learn that one the hard way too. <laughs> All right, so here is Git grep. It's very similar to the shells grep, but it's searching the entire working area. Um, and you could do things like look for, you know, the contents of a file in your working area. Oops. <laughs> it can also check your staging area. It can also check the untracked files as well. There's a whole lot of other flags there to look at. Um, it can also search on any arbitrary commit. It doesn't have to be the one that's in your working folder. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll have to skip some. Oh, no. Um, so there's git bisect, which you'll just have to learn about all on your own. <laughs> it's great. And the final one I want to show you is sometimes something goes so tragically wrong, I want to just dig it out and forever bury the evidence. So with this one, Oh, this is interesting. It turns out I committed some really secret company information a while ago. Um, this is going to leave out a whole bunch of flags that you totally need to know about, so don't copy this or anything. You need to look it up. GitHub has a great example of how to do this. But essentially, um, Filter Branch gives you the power to remove um, everything, and every commit that has a certain file referenced in it. Just purge it from all of the commits. And then your ref log is actually saving um, sort of a, an ongoing log of everything you do. And it's not just sort of like taking note of, but it's actually all the files. Um, so you want to get rid of all the evidence and artifacts that have been left behind. And then finally do the garbage collection to get rid of it, and then push it back up to the remote. Hopefully nobody has started working on it yet. Um, so the bottom line is that, yeah, it is such a pain. We all know it. But it also has some really cool tricks up its sleeve. <laughs>